Hey, good morning. We're back at the Village Loafer this morning. Yesterday I made a video and I showed you how I get from the mixing bowl into the proofing basket. And now these have been in the refrigerator for, I don't know, close to 20 hours, right? And this is what they look like after they've been in the refrigerator for 20 hours, right? It blew up really nice, okay? So that's my method of being able to do it without all the handwork of folding and folding and folding, right? So now I'm gonna show you how I get it in the oven. So what we do, we flip it over here on the cornmeal. Just take it off nice and slow, like that. All right, next thing I do, we got some extra flour on here from uh, putting it in the basket. You gotta put enough flour on there because you don't want it to stick to the the cloth liner. So I very lightly take this paintbrush and I get off any of this extra, extra flour here. You want to go nice and easy because the dough is uh, fragile at this point. See all that flour come off of there? Good. Next thing I do is I soak this loaf. This is just water in here. And I'm going to soak the outside of this. It's very good for the crust. It's going to make it nice and crusty, and it's going to make blisters on the outside, which is also very nice, right? Then I sprinkle quinoa seed. This is quinoa seed on here. I'm going to sprinkle this quinoa seed on here. Just about like that's good. And then, you have to score this loaf. You have to cut this loaf. Uh, because if you don't cut it, it's going to blow out the side. This thing is going to have a lot of steam inside it. And uh, needs a place for that to go. You'll see on TV, they just take and go like this, and it works great. I can't do that because i got so many seeds and nuts in here that I have to cut it more slowly, like this. which I don't like because I'm jerking the loaf around too much. I don't like it, but it's the only thing I can do. It's the only way I can cut it. And you want to cut it at least a quarter inch deep, and you want to cut it on an angle. So once we get like this, now we head for the oven. Let's go to the oven. This is my commercial convection oven. I keep it outside. Then I'm going to slide it off into this cast iron Dutch oven, like that. This oven is at 500 degrees, and this pot is preheated. Now this is a steam injection oven. You actually hook the hose up to this and I can press a button that should make a nice steam mist in the oven. But the, I need a pressure reducer because if I do it now, it puts too much water in the oven. I need to run off the pressure reducer so it puts a mist in there and I don't have the pressure reducer yet. So I'm still cooking it in the cast iron oven and uh, you can see what these look like. Come on back inside. Video the loaves on the counter, honey. Oh, they come in here, it's dark. Okay, I'm gonna have to change the video. Oh, never mind, okay. So now you can see that's the first four out of six that I've made, and you can see how beautiful they are. Look at this one over here, how much it blew up, how big it got, it blew up like a basketball. So that's four out of six. And I'm only doing 30 minutes in the Dutch oven with the cover on. Some people do 30 minutes with the cover on and then another 10 or 15 minutes with the cover off, but I don't need that. I only do 30 minutes with the cover on 
and these are going to be 205 degrees Fahrenheit inside and they're done to perfection. Okay, so now you see how they get from the basket to the table, okay? Thanks for tuning in to the Village Loafer. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.